As we have learned in our previous session how to identify basic parameters from different scenario or situations and even we solved some of the questions for better understanding. So friends we know that we have two fundamental formulae Tn and Sn. In previous session in all the questions we were taking help of the first formula only because in all the cases it was talking about value of term at some specified place like salary in some particular month, first term and the common difference. And our first formula deals with these parameters only. Whereas second formula talks about finding the sum of numbers. So the difference between the parameters Tn and Sn is Tn represents value at some specified point whereas Sn represents sum of all the terms or all the values up to that point. Now let us quickly take some of the questions and solve it. So here's a question which says find the sum of odd numbers lying between 10 and 100. Friends always remember one thing in any subject on any question first of all understand the question. Don't be in the rush to solve it without getting the question. Allocate proper time to the question that makes very easy to solve further. See here when question says find the sum of numbers in the given range then we need to include the lower limit and the upper limit of the given range. Question can also be like find the sum of numbers from a particular number to a particular number. Even then we will be following same thing. But if it says find the sum of numbers in between a particular range then we will have to exclude upper limit and the lower limit. Like if the very same question was asking to find sum of even numbers we wouldn't have considered 10 and 100 and I hope you know the reason why. Alright so we have to find sum of the odd numbers so which formula will we be using? Yes you are right we will use Sn and for calculating Sn we need T1, N and D. Okay. So we will calculate these parameters one by one and getting these parameters will be very easy if we list the given range of numbers. So let's list it. It will start with 10, 10, 11, 12, 13 and so on to 97, 98, 99 and 100. This is the last number of the range. Okay. So now what is T1? T1 is 10, right? No. See friends, we make mistakes like this only. Even if this is the range, we have to pick the odd numbers only, right? So now the numbers will be 11, 13, 15 to 97 and 99. Why? Because 99 is the last odd number in this range. Okay. Now you tell me what is T1? T1 is 11, right? Okay. So let's come to the second parameter, the common difference. We all know that even numbers or odd numbers always occur alternatively. So the common difference will always be of 2. So D equals 2. I guess it was simple to get this parameter, right? Now let us go to third parameter, N. So what is N over here? Here N represents total odd numbers between 10 and 100. Finding this is a bit interesting. See guys, there are always half even numbers and half odd numbers. So from 0 to 100, there will be 50 odd numbers and from 0 to 10, there will be 5 odd numbers. So from 10 to 100, we will not include those 5 odd numbers which are lying between 0 to 10. That means from 10 to 100, there will be 45 odd numbers only, right? So we got our third required parameter n that is equal to 45. So now we have got all the parameters. Substitute these parameters in the formula and we will get s45 equals 2 into 11 plus n minus 1 that is 45 minus 1 into 2 whole multiplied by 45 upon 2 and it will give us 2475. That means 
सम ऑफ ऑड नंबर फ्रॉम टेन टू हंड्रेड इज टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड सेवेंटी फाइव फ्रेंड्स इन एवरी क्वेश्चन वी जस्ट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड विच पैरामीटर्स वैल्यू इज क्यूवेन एंड वॉट टू बी फाउंड दैट इज द ओनली ट्रिक इन सच प्रॉब्लम ओके नाउ आई होप यू कैन सॉल्व सच टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉब्लम लेट मी टेल यू वन मोर थिंग वी कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एन बाई यूजिंग आवर फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला टी एन सी हाउ इट हेल्प द फर्स्ट नंबर इज इलेवन and the last number is 99 so this formula will tell us how many numbers are there to reach from 11 to 99 so instead of tn we will write 99 and that can be written as 99 equals 11 plus n minus 1 into 2 and then the value of n will be 45 so now you have two ways to get the value of n so whichever you find easy you can go for that it will give you the exact value of n okay so let's go ahead and try some more questions this question says find the sum of 10 multiples of 5 between 12 and 93 now this time you should tell me what is given and what to be found so first of all question says to find sum of the numbers that means we will use second formula sn So read the question carefully and write down what is given. It says find first 10 multiples of 5. How many multiples? 10. That means n is given to us. There will be 10 multiples of 5 and we will have to add them, right? So now we have to find t1 and d only. Rest two parameters. Okay. So list the numbers 12 13 14 15 90 91 92 93 t1 is not 12 t1 is 15 first multiple of 5 in the range is 15 so so we got t1 also and what is the common difference common difference will be of 5 because the multiples of 5 between 12 and 93 will be something like 15 20 25 to 85 and 90 right so the difference will be of 5 only so we got d equals 5 so put all the values and total sum becomes s10 equals 375 that means the first 10 multiples of 5 between the range 12 and 93 is 375 one point i would like to raise here that we have not added all the multiples of 5 between 12 and 93 we have just added first 10 multiples right that was a slight difference in this question if like previous question i would ask you to find total multiples of 5 lying between 12 and 93 how do you calculate so you have two method to calculate that you can go by manually or you can use first formula if you go manually then from 0 to 90 there will be 18 multiples of 5 and from 0 to 12 there will be two multiples 5 and 10 right so from 12 to 93 that is from 15 to 90 how many multiples will be there 18 minus 2 that is 16 multiples you can also use formula instead of tn you will put 90 t1 will be 15 difference will be 5 you will get n equals 16 only so friends from 12 to 93 there are total 16 multiples and previously we have added only 10 multiples why because question asked to add only 10 multiples of 5 between the given range now i guess it is very much clear between the questions okay before we end here is a question for you which you can easily solve and check the solution on our website now i'm sure that you have mastered the skills of solving any problem based on arithmetic progression the complete course for grade 10 cbse math is available in pen drive and sd card format click on the link to buy now to know more you may also check the description box below